Die SA Gallus 2 het op 9 juli op sy eerste wetenskapelike vaart naar die Suidelike Oceaan vertrek. Die sending is ook die skipse laaste proefvaart, wat tijdens wetenskapelike en ander toeristing getoets kan word. The trip is known as a shakedown cruise. And to me it's a lot more than that because we'll be doing some real science. We're not just messing about with the equipment, we're actually deploying it seriously. We have a team of, of highly trained scientists on board from different organizations. So we'll do a lot of oceanography on the way down and we'll do a very short test in the ice. And then on the way back we'll, we are stopping in at, uh, at Marin Island for some predator studies and uh, then returning via Port Elizabeth where the ship will have an open day or two. Met de vorige proefvaart is watermonsters geneem en nieuwe wetenskapelike speelgoed soos die maanbol reeds getoets. Die jongste sending sal die Agalus echter vir die eerste keer toelaat om sy vermoens in die Suidelike Oceaan ijs op die proef te stel. The ship has got two and a half times the amount of power that the old one had and its hull strength is far, far greater. So we're able to break thicker ice at a higher speed with a higher level of safety. And uh, the idea of the ice tests in July will be just a, a first look at the ice basically. We did a lot of work in the Baltic in ice, but this will be our first entrance into Southern Ocean ice, which has got a different composition to Northern Hemisphere ice. The main objective of the cruise is to shake down or to test all the equipment. So that are on board, most of them are still cool. And also because of that opportunity that we take the ship in, in winter to Antarctica to test the ship, to test all those equipment, it would be ideal for us to also provide some scientific objectives. Very few countries have done this in winter. So it's a, it will allow us to do that seasonal comparison from the summer data that we always survey or collect. So this will also add up and make us understand the impact of climate change in this situation.